Hi, in this video we will have a look at Microsoft Power Automate Community Forum. So here uh, you know the user is asking for delete folders if older than a week. I believe it is a SharePoint is the contest here. So there is a folder and looking for deleting that folder but if they are older than a week actually. So the plan is, uh, you know, selecting a folder and there are subfolders inside that. But if the uh, some of the folders are more than a week, then we need to delete that. Okay, uh, that's what we want here. So delete folders. So the, when you delete the folder, it will delete all the files also. So what I did here is I got a library called Test Doc, uh, Test AJ Doc library, and you can see this account that is on 19th of November. I created then I got test one which is an older one then I got folder A folder B those all are 19 minutes ago this is the new one which I created okay so here it is so uh, when I execute uh, so in that scenario what I want is uh, when I run the power automate to get the folder details it should get me test one you know uh, test one should be there then test uh, two here uh, that is yesterday so it shouldn't pick up that it's not older than a week uh, so let's see okay this is, what, this is what we are going to build okay so for that the first thing is I'm going to use uh, the SharePoint connector so that's SharePoint and for the SharePoint connector I'm going to use get file properties get files properties only that's what I want okay the site address we need to select uh, then the library name that is uh, test aj doc library so test aj doc library if we leave it blank it's a full one but here the user said they got a particular folder so i'm going to select that folder test aj doc lib account here we go account there right now the next thing here is we need to put a filter query here because in that folder I might have some uh, see that here I got some files also but here we are looking only for the folders so the trick we need to do here is under the filter query we need to put f s o b j type okay so it's case sensitive remember and then say equals one equals one means it's the um, uh, folder I believe zero is the files I think so one is the folder we want then and we need to look for the date uh, that is modified less than and then two single quotes here then we need an expression the expression is going to be uh, format uh, date time and uh, that format with uh, that y y y dash m um, dash oops dd then inside that we need to put the date but this one week before the date we want so we need to put another expression at days and again two brackets and utc now uh, comma minus seven that's one week before that I'll put this expression in my video description as well. Generally, what I do is I do an add note and put the expression here also so that we exactly know what the expression we are using here. Okay, so that's done. The next thing is I'm going to add a compose and uh, see that works. Right, and here I can select the name, hopefully the file name I want, the, the uh, file name with extension, no, name of the file, uh, the name, yeah, that's what we want. That hopefully that's a folder we are going to get here. Okay, let's see that works or not first of all so click on that manually and uh, save and test okay flow ran successfully hopefully uh, yeah we got uh, it found only test one so uh, that's working as expected don't you so uh, under the account we only got one folder which is one week older than that don't you? it's older than it's 19th of November it is so 
that's good and again it doesn't pick any of the files or anything like that that's good news we only want the folders so to delete that what we want now is it's a simple step only we want uh, we need to go and say uh, delete uh, folder I believe um, let's see is it delete folder there oops I think delete file maybe uh, delete yeah so delete uh, file or the item I'm not really sure here but let's try the file then and see that okay the then the site address uh, again then the file identifier let's see whether we can get the ID then here so that's a list item ID for related other actions any other ID there okay let's search for the ID Okay, identifier value that can be used in file related actions for selecting a file. I think this is the one maybe we want, we want identifier. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to click on save and um, that should delete the folder, I believe. Okay, there is no action step called delete folder. I couldn't find it, so it, it must be the delete file then. Click done. Oh, it failed. Okay, so why it's failed? It says uh, that uh, it does not exist uh, so hopefully the last step it is fail here okay edit again so that didn't work okay so what's the other one we need to look here let's see then again so looking for the ID when is it in the related actions okay that's ID there yeah, content type ID okay this ID let's try with this then and see that works okay so I'm going to use this No, that uh, didn't work. So it says it doesn't exist. Okay, I thought so. The ID, that's not the ID we want there. Let's see then. Is the, do I need to select something here? Let's see then. So if I select that test doc lib. Mm, looks like the full uh, name you want. Okay, we, uh, we need to pass there. Let's try the SharePoint again and um, look for uh, delete okay I'm going to use the delete item now and let's see that works okay so remove the file now oops that's not the uh, option I want right and here the delete item okay the list name ah okay this is for the list only so uh, it's this is for okay we can't use that because it's a document li library we are using so we can't use that here uh, let me go back to SharePoint again here SharePoint okay and delete uh, edit file yeah okay and try the address here and then the file identifier let's have a quick look ID is anything else there I thought the identifier should do the job but it didn't value that can be used to for file right action for selecting a file content is folder that is correct that is the is folder it is okay let me think okay so here and uh, let me delete this let's try that delete item again right okay and then here select the site again Then the list name, uh, so we can't select the list name because it only shows a list. So it's called test aj doc lib. So we are going to use enter the custom value here. And say test aj doc lib. 
and then unique identifier of the item that is the ID here okay let's see then it works save that Okay, click on test. Ha, huh, okay. So, uh, yeah, it's a little bit misleading that because it's a listed name here. So, but still, you know, I, I use my, this is my document library. This is, this is not a list, um, but <laughs> don't ask me why it is so it's uh, you can see say libraries library settings is a, is a document library this is so that kind of worked i think so let's go back and make sure that is uh, working here we go that's uh, the test one is gone now it's deleted now so you can see you know it kept the files it's only you know filtered by the the folder only so the technique here is you need to use fs obj type equals one and then uh, use that expression and then this was a little bit misleading here because delete item is for the list but if you put a custom into the custom and then put the exact name here test aj doclip otherwise you won't be able to select it then use the id of that uh, get to files properties only action step that's it hope this is useful thank you for watching